Doppler Doppler and tissue Doppler in left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. This is a tissue Doppler image with color kinesis in the inset. E by E prime of the medial mitral annulus is shown as 19.1 indicating left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In diastolic dysfunction, as the relaxation of the LV is impaired, the velocity of medial mitral annulus is reduced so that E by E prime ratio is increased. E wave is measured prior to tissue Doppler imaging and stored so that the software application displays the E by E prime as soon as the E prime is measured. E by E prime below 8 is considered normal while ratio above 15 is considered a feature of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. E by E prime has been correlated with left atrial pressure as well which is in fact the LV filling pressure which increases in LV diastolic dysfunction. There are also limitations for E by E prime in the assessment of LV diastolic dysfunction. These situations are decompensated advanced systolic heart failure with large LV, broad QRS with abnormal septal motion, significant MR and presence of cardiac resynchronization therapy are all confounding factors. Though the E by E prime ratio is increased in this case, there is no E by A reversal which is the more commonly used indicator of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. When the E by A ratio is used, there could be several grades of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. First, the E by A ratio equalizes. Then there is reversal as the A wave becomes taller than the E wave. E wave is early diastolic and A wave occurs after atrial systole. In more severe diastolic dysfunction, as the left atrial pressure becomes very high, the E wave becomes much taller than the A wave with a sharp deceleration slope. This pattern is known as restrictive pattern. Here is a relevant journal reference. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.